Hello guys, today I'm going to be using Seller Sprite and I'm going to show you how to use its awesome feature, Market Analysis. If you haven't already, jump into the description and click and on Seller Sprite that link and so that way you can follow along with me and you can see how it's done and how it's going to really save you a lot of time and some of the other cool tools that it has uh, to offer you. Now, probably the big question for you is, why do I need Seller Sprite? How is it going to help my online business? How is it going to help me drop ship? What's the purpose of it? Well, they have an amazing amount of tools. And when I say that, I mean truly a plethora. And that's being that you can look up the competitors, you have product research, keyword research, market research, what we're talking about, uh, ad insights. You can even review the uh, reviews, or you can even uh, do analysis on the reviews for it, and that's going to save you a lot of time as well. They have an awesome extension, Jump to Google extensions. You can add it, and it's going to allow you to do it straight from Amazon, and that way you don't have to jump back and forth between tabs and so forth and so on. It's just a couple of clicks right there on the site, and you can do it that way. And what's even better is you can download all of the analysis that you need. You can download pictures. You can download the reviews to go back and look at it later uh, if you don't really have a whole lot of time. So with that being said, let's kind of jump into it, right? So I'm jumping to Amazon right now and just choose the product that you have. You can do it with the ASIN uh, if you have that or not. I'm just going to move this up. Now when you have the when you have the extension downloaded, you have everything linked in, uh, you'll see that it pops up like this little icon on the right. You play, click that. You can do product research. You can reverse the ASIN, keyword mining, index checker, mine list, so forth and so on. Now, first we need a product to really kind of do a market analysis over it. Now, there's a Keurig, uh, the, K, uh, the K Elite Single Serve. I'm going to click on that. We'll just use this, for example, for the video. My internet's a little bit slow, so give it just a minute. And now, ah, there we go. Now you see, just that fast. Okay, and what it does is go ahead and adds everything up to uh, that is connected with Seller Sprite, where it's right, the reverse ASIN, the ad insights, so forth, so on. You get the idea, right? Uh, you can do a brand check. You can do an AR review analysis. And you can download the reviews, which is I was talking about before. And download images uh, as well. Download related videos. You can download all of this, and you can kind of use it later on uh, for your... Uh, online store as well. Now, here you can see that we're on the AI review, uh, the AI review analysis. It is powered by Voc uh, Schulich, which is super powerful, super awesome, and uh, it really works fantastic as well. All right, so market analysis. You're going to find that right here. I'll click on market analysis. It's going to load up our page. And here we go. Now, the marketplaces like the U.S., Japan, U.K., you can select the month if it be 30 days, uh, back into what, what uh, October, so forth, so on. You, you get the idea, right? Uh, categories, navigation, you can choose a different category, search, whatever. Uh, and we can kind of just go down. You can save the filters once you add those as well. Now, single-serve brewers. Now, this is what uh, you have like several of those that's kind of already doing. So I already added everything for you as well. Now, that being said, you can export you can export this as an Excel, which is also good for to come back, send it to maybe you have colleagues or somebody that's working for you if you you've kind of uh, you know scaled up to a little bit bigger. If you have employees working for you, have someone doing all of this, you can do that as well. Uh, uh, but you don't really have to. Now, you can get a report uh, on all of this as well. This is the complete subcategory path. You can just click get a report, view market analysis report. Now, I'm going to click that, uh, and here we go. Now, the top 10 size, you have the sample size, the launching within six months as well, and see the number of this new products and samples, and which is new product period, for example. Uh, so if there are 50 new products and 100 samples which are launched within three months, then new product is 15. It just gives you over information. Now, well, that's, again, that's the last 30 days. And you can so forth, do this, so forth, and so on. Now, I showed you, it gave you some points there, but I'm going to show you the really the fastest way to do it. So, for example, you're searching. Now, I'm just going to place in Keurig, for example, and I'm going to look for one just here. Now, I see one right here, the overall pick. For example, now let's say I want to click on this. This would be a good idea because this is highly rated, well-priced, and available to ship immediately. So this is something maybe I want to check in. So uh, we can look at that, but what about the others, right? So we want to analyze that. So here's how we're going to do that. All right, so we let everything load up. 
fantastic. Now, you'll see uh, we, our search was curing. Now we can analyze, a generate a market analysis report. So I'll click that, and I can generate as it is, at least 100 products. So I can say load and generate. And they want you to have 100 of them uh, to do that, but it's... Uh, it's, it's your choice. So it, it's better to go ahead and have a hundred different samples, but let's say you don't, but for the video's sake, let's just show you. So here it's ready. So I'm going to go view now and it's going to pull us back up here as well. Just like that. I mean, it's, it's that simple, right? So top products detail 100, we can take a look and it's going to give us all of these as well. Now we can do a comparison uh, as well. And uh, we can see the monthly sales, 280 for these, and we can kind of see that top uh, information as well. Uh, but now also we can export, and you can see that we have, we can view the categories best sellers list on Amazon and the market analysis charts, right? So maybe you want the charts, it's going to pull everything up, and it's going to pull us over to this one. So you can kind of see that as well. Now you can see the view the product list, you can view the market analysis report, maybe when we want to pull that, it's going to pull you back over here as well. Uh, and you can also share the link, you can export it as a PDF, or you can export it as an Excel. Uh, all of these which are de depending on you, uh, on your choice. So you can see multiple ways to come to this uh, to this degree here. And you can see like the sample size is 100, you can see the brand and sellers is 37 out of 45. The average BSR, uh, so the best sellers rank is uh, 2,662,140. Uh, 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 and we can kind of change all of this to its top 10, top 3, top 5, right? We can change all of this and it's just going to reload for you as well. And we can add this to my products list if we like what this looks like. Average product weight, so it's not available for this specific product, but you get the idea, right? And if you're not too sure, you can actually watch a tutorial video. You can do the user guide as well, uh, and you can go forth and so on, right? So we can see this one is zero, top products in detail. This will come back up as well and bring you back here. It's going to show you the top products. Maybe we want to change. So this has the A plus page, and it has a video for it as well. So if you want to watch a video for this. Now, I've showed you a lot of cool stuff, and I showed you how to navigate, how to get to the same one multiple times, but I want to do something better. Let's take a look at the historical data, because this is, I find, is the probably the most useful uh, part of this, right? So we can go over and get a list of things and kind of look and analyze, but what about historically? How is it doing? Is it seasonal? Um, how are the sales slumping just in general? We, we need to know that information, right? Especially if we're trying to fight against the big guys. So what we'll do is if you look on the right here, you can do the view product historical trends. You can add the product to a product tracker. You can keep the history, you can view the historical trends and you can even do a profitability tracker as well. View product historical trends. Let's do that. We're going to let it load. And here we go. You can see the monthly, what that looks like. And we even have the chart coming down. We can display it by year. Uh, as well, and you can kind of follow along with this one. Actually, it looks like it's doing pretty good uh, for now, right? Uh, versus some of the other information. So 2018, 2019, so 2022 and 2023. It's actually doing quite well considering that this year, but before it was not doing too well. So it's actually become, gained in popularity, which is really good. So we can see that um, based on this information and we can export this as an Excel sheet as well. Uh, but you get the point that that's how we're going to see the historical data. And we can just add, for example, like, oh, I like that. Let's add that to our uh, product tracking, right? And view historical trends as well. And this is another one. Uh, the BSR, the price, right? The ratings, the rating ratio. And we can see the, uh, the ratings rate. We can go to uh, crucial keyword search trends and see how the trends as far as the keywords are going as well. So you can see that the Keurig uh, grew. And even the coffee maker is growing even better. So it's probably a keyword that's going to be uh, better for you to use. And you can just copy this to the clipboard uh, and go back later on and, and change to what you're looking for. So this is how the, pro the product or the market analysis is really going to help you right here. So we know that Keurig right now, if I wanted to buy, uh, I would just go to the profit and check to see... And, more than likely, I will sell some Keurigs, and this is how it's really going to help you later on 
to choose your product. So we can kind of go and look up some search terms, like the most profitable, like the top sellers, right? And kind of look and analyze the market here and see where we're going to have our place in the market. All right, guys, jump in the description below, jump to Seller Sprite, and go ahead and start making some money.